This is a how-to video on how to upgrade your Wakera Devo 10 transmitter to the deviation firmware. First you need to go to the wakera.com website, create an account, then click on the software update tab here on the top and download Devention Defuse USB upgrade tools right here. We'll go ahead and download it and install the program. Then you want to go to the deviation website. I'm going to post links under the uh, video itself on YouTube. So if you're watching this on RC Groups or Heli Freak, click the watch on YouTube and uh, look for the links under there. So, anyways, once you're at the website here, I'll take you from the beginning. You'll, on the home screen you want to go to downloads here on downloads you want to go into deviation releases and you want to download you want to go deviation 2.0.0 now there's two files you need to download the first file is the firmware itself this is the deviation Devo 10 version 2.0.0. So you want to click the download. And save the file. I save it to the desktop. That's the easiest to get to and it makes it easier for everything here. So that's downloaded and hit the back button. Next thing we need is the deviation file system so click this one here click the download download file save it to the desktop once you have that here's the two files we downloaded once you look, download the two files, unzip them. Then the next thing you want to do is plug in the transmitter. Use the uh, USB cable that was supplied with the transmitter. Once that's plugged into the computer, open up the Defusey USB upgrade. And you'll come to this window. Now what you want to do is press the EXT button down on the transmitter and keep it pressed down and while it's pressed down flip up the power button mm -hmm. you'll now see it says program update and you also see the dimensions Devo 10's transmitter has been found now what you want to do on this firmware tab up here on the top click the dialog box on the right we're going to go to the desktop the deviation 10 folder here, open that up and select the .dfu file here. Now we're all ready to do the upgrade. So all you do is hit, it'll say file correctly loaded, hit upgrade and it says next dialog box, click yes. And now it's uh, updating the firmware. This is the first stage of the upgrade. We have to do this in two different stops here. It'll say upgrade successful, which is good. Then click quit. Turn off the power on your transmitter. Mm -hmm. Now you want to turn on the transmitter again, but this time hold down the ENT and keep it pressed down and flip the power mm -hmm. up that's going to bring you to this screen on the transmitter now what you're going to want to do is go into my computer and it's going to say removable disk now the letter is going to vary depending on how many drives you have connected and in my case I'm drive H now if you click on this for the installing this for the very first time it Windows is going to want you to format the drive 
but I've already done this, so I don't have to do it, but I'll show you what you have to do. On the removable disk, right click it, select format, and just hit start. The default's quick format, so leave it there. The file system defaults fat, and the allocation 4096, so leave all that. All you have to do is click start. It's gonna warn you, click OK. Format complete, OK, and close. Okay, now you can click that open here. Once you open that up, what you want to do is go into the Dimension Deviation FS folder here. When you open that, it's going to have a file system folder. Open that. It's going to have a Devo 10 folder. Oh, let me do that again. That didn't come out on video. So you want to go into the file system folder, Devo 10 folder, and you have one, two, three, four, five folders and a, a, a file here. Select all of these, highlight them all, and what you want to do is drag them all or copy and paste them all. It's your preference. And you want to put them into the removable disk here. And it's going to say copy in. And that's it. So we just want to make sure you, you copied all the files in the deviation slash fs slash devo10 slash v2. The ones that are all highlighted in blue. Copy those over into the removable disk, which look like this, and you're all set. Now at this point, you just turn off the transmitter, mm -hmm. then turn it back on. And that's it. Here's your new deviation firmware. And this will be the default home screen. And there's your first model. I'm going to make a video too of the general menus of this. That'll be next I'll post just to give you an idea what it looks like. But that's it. It's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. And if you should decide to go back to the Wakira firmware, you can. I've done this at least four or five times because I wanted to make sure everything works. It will not erase your models. So if you have Devo 10 models in there and then you upgrade to the deviation firmware and you decide to go back, those models will still be there. So you don't have to worry about that. But as a precaution, I'd still back them up just in case. But I've done this at least four or five times, if not more, and my models have always been there. If you decide you should want to go back from the uh, to the factory Devo 10 firmware, just follow my how-to videos on how to upgrade the firmware on the Devo 10. I'm going to post a link for you. Look under the video itself here on YouTube and all that's going to do is just overwrite the deviation firmware and the file system and put it back restore it to what you were before and like I said before your models will still be there